hey everybody, this Money Movie Review is going to be different, because this is going to be about a movie that does not exist in our reality. But, <laughs> it was made in the continuity of the show It's Always Sunny, and that is Lethal Weapon 6, which, no joke, is better uh, than... That fucking, uh, was it Wild Horses? That movie that had, like, nepotism all up in it? Like, no joke. Lethal Weapon 6, as a movie within a show, and I'm including the parts that aren't supposed to be funded by Frank, are better than a movie from 2015. And I'm, uh, Lethal Weapon 6 came out in 2013. Two years before Wild Horses, and <laughs> fucking just looks better again. Even the parts that aren't, you know, that have like a, aren't supposed to have like a proper film crew. And Lethal Weapon 6 literally has both fucking Min uh, Mac and Dennis in blackface <laughs> throughout this. Uh,. Also, uh, has Frank pile driving a lady, uh, but I don't mean the the wrestling move pile driver. I'm talking about the sex act, um, which they blur because it's good taste. Also, because it's a TV show, but uh, <laughs> like it, it, the story is coherent. Oh yeah, I also forgot D's in blackface too. Fucking <laughs> so everybody but ch uh, fucking Charlie and Frank wear blackface, uh, which is just fucking wild. Um, it, like. They reference uh, Top Gun with like volley the volleyball scene from Top Gun. They have it in like a school. I think they do it twice. They they have one at a beach, and they have one like in a gym, like a school gym. Uh, and again, this is way better than a feature movie. Like a feature length movie that was produced by like somewhat competent fucking people. Uh, like, it's again, honestly, it's a fucking amazing movie within a show. Like, <laughs> you should watch the episode. You can't get it on streaming anywhere because of the blackface um so you know uh fucking so you, but you can find it obviously um <laughs> oh yeah uh honestly it's also like the movie itself is better than, like, Lethal Weapon movies, because, like, it's Dennis trying to be Mel Gibson, trying to be, is it Riggs from Lethal Weapon? Uh, so, and it's like, he's trying, he's doing, he's doing an Australian accent, because he's trying to be Mel Gibson, but doesn't realize that or doesn't know that Mel Gibson didn't have the accent, like he, you know, he, he didn't do, like he trained not to do the accent for the movie, or whatever, he just able not to do that. Um, if it doesn't have a fucking anti-Semite in it, so it's also better than a, a lot of movies. Um, <laughs> like they... For some reason, there's, like, all these ass shots 
it, it, it's, like, oh, it's like a fucking big manly men thing. And it's just, obviously, he's coming off as gay. Um, <laughs> just like, or, or geared towards women, but they're supposed to be like gearing it towards men. Like the original Lethal Weapon, but it was just like a whole bunch of man ass. Which I'm not opposed to, you know? We see a lot of female ass, or, you know, women ass. In, in things. You know, it's not on TV, so it's just right to have a shit ton of man ass. Uh, I think that's about it. I think that's all I can really milk out of Lethal Weapon 6. Oh, Frank, like, gets, his character gets brought back by a voodoo shaman in like fucking <laughs> they also kill off D's character and then bring her back and fucking Mac it's just <laughs> it's just like for whatever reason doesn't get the concept of like show not tell because he's like explaining all the things that are going on uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's, uh, my review of <laughs> Lethal Weapon 6 from It's Always Sunny. Peace out, everybody. Ta-ta.